Do you like those ears and glasses? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. They're so cute. Good morning, or afternoon, I think now. Um, happy Monday. I had a meeting at the school this morning. Uh, Uh, so this weekend was good. We uh, There was a little boy that was having a birthday party and the dad had reached out on Facebook and wanted all motorcyclists to do like a drive-by. So Jay went ahead and participated and Ezra and I, of course, followed. We thought there would be a huge turnout, but there wasn't. So I'm glad that Jay went. There was only about 18, 20 bikes or so. So I do have a video of uh, this little boy. It was, a, it was super sweet. Um, and he got like a little motorcycle for his birthday. But anyway, so that's what we did on Saturday. Uh, Sunday was just domestic stuff, cleaning, laundry, TV watching. Anyways, um, so I will tell you how my meeting went with the school. Okay, so I had to hire an advocate, a family advocate, um, which I'm so thankful I did because there's just, the IEPs are just too involved. You just, I, there's just too much. So she was wonderful and super helpful. So we addressed some issues, but of course, um, we have to have another meeting called a MET, an MET, um, to kind of reevaluate some services. But um, when we left there, the advocate was like, wow, that teacher really doesn't like you. And I was like, I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. So I'm glad that she saw it, <clears throat> but my concern is, you know, I have to send my nonverbal kiddo to a classroom where the teacher doesn't like me. <clears throat> so, super frustrated. Um, again, I would just wish they would change the schools, but that's not going to happen. So, I'm going to have to go through this process of just trying to get them to do what's right by him. Super big struggle. The struggle is... Oh, and I should say that, um, what else is going on? I got a bad review and those kind of things just always, uh, take, take you down for a minute. I know, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is, but I think it was a little bit, uh, not legit. Uh, she was mad because I didn't respond to her email. Uh, for a couple days and it it wasn't a time sensitive issue but she obviously felt some sort of way about it but anyways it is what it is but yeah I, I always hate those things because you know I'm like should I reply should I, should I not should I and then I was like eh F it it is what it is I, you just can't please you just can't please some people and some people are just more miserable than others in life just in general <laughs> don't be that miserable person don't Life's too. So I um, had taken the polish off my toenails, which I rarely ever go without toenail polish. I always have them polished, and um, I didn't. I didn't have them polished for like three days, I guess, two two days maybe, because I took it off Thursday night, and then I was gonna do it Friday, but then I didn't. I went swimming out at Jenna's, and and then this weekend I was like, I gotta get them done, and so I polished them course uh, my husband sweet dear that he is he's like wow your feet look really different who knew polish made such a difference what does that mean <laughs> I'm not sure but I'm guessing he prefers them polished <laughs> but anyways I hit my toe this morning and broke my toenail the whole corner 
I couldn't even believe it. I was like, no way, because I'm, you know, I wore open-toed shoes to look cute with my dress, and I, so I had to go to my meeting with a messed up pedicure, broken toenail. I mean, I know no one else notices those things, but, you know, already nervous as crap, dreading this meeting, you know, and then to be running late, and then bust your toenail, and Sometimes, <laughs> you know, you know the big important life things. <laughs> yeah, I need to get over myself, I know. <laughs> oh well, that was my day today. <laughs> but I survived the meeting and I'm so grateful I had that advocate. So it was all worth it, even though my toenail was jacked up.